Well, why not? Why would why not? Why not have a go at the very least? They do try miracles around here. Okay, here's our second cup semi-final here in Korea. It's going to be Japan versus Korea. They will face off against the winner of the last cup semi-final, which was Hong Kong, defeating China 21 points to seven. Japan, well, they're missing Sakai, their inspirational leader, and they're still looking to replace him, but captained by Soachima in five. They've got some very big men, Tukiri and Seru in the forwards, and then gas out wide with Fujita and Motomura. And look out on the bench, pressing us this weekend, Michael Toloke. Meanwhile in Korea, number seven, Jang Jong-min. He's the leading try scorer of the tournament so far, ably assisted by guys like Jang Song min Lee Jai Bok, Lee Jin Q, and Kim Namuk off the bench as well. It's a reasonably strong Korean side. Most of them more prolific as 15s players, but here they come. Big moment for Korea. They have set their sights on Olympic qualification. Japan, of course. They qualify as hosts in 2020 at the Tokyo Olympics. And back here, end of November, there'll be an Asian Olympic qualifier without Japan. Teams like Korea, Hong Kong, Sri Lanka, China will be competing for that second spot at the Olympics, a golden opportunity. Only 12 teams going to the Olympics, two will be from Asia. And Japan, well, they haven't really hit their straps this weekend, have they, Jed? They've got the potential they're just missing the glue, which is Sakai. Well, and very, very could very well turn up in Sri Lanka for the final leg and bring it all together in a nice boat. He is something pretty special. But in saying that, uh, Soyajima, Saru, uh, we've seen the super sub from Japan, this new player that well we hadn't seen before. He's arrived. They've got plenty of uh, plenty of clubs in the bag, and they don't mind swinging them. Lee Jai Bok gets us underway, and it's straight into the hands of Soachima, the captain. He takes the attention of three Koreans and gets some go forward here. Kano swinging it away. Foray right down the far side. Hikosaka gives it up to Siru, and he tries to get the big legs pumping. If he gets away, gets those knees, gets them up high, and he really hard to stop and the Koreans now they're sitting back here Motomura takes on the line Lee Jai Bok tries to get in there and there's a three on one situation here and it's going to be an easy run in in the end for Soachima the captain and good early position to them well he's not massively happy with the way the ball got to him in the end but uh, the decision to pass the ball probably a little bit laboured however Japan barely flexing there, but you can see the influence of these two players, Suijima and Seru. You park them up on the wide channels either side, and you're going to cause problems for teams like Korea. We've got to hustle hard to get over there. Through the two, there's Takeri on to Suijima. He wants to see a little bit more urgency. That's right, Lottie to carry out there. Big man himself, massive front row. The referee there, Matthew Rodden from Hong Kong. Been on the World Series now for a couple of seasons. Very experienced referee. They get it back straight from the kickoff through Hikosaka. Here comes Soachima, looks up at the post and shrugs off Lee Seong Bai. And that was a weak effort from Lee Soachima. A real captain's knock here, his second try in two minutes. There's just a gritty determination, isn't there, when he sees those posts. It's one thing on his mind. Well, he's a very good player. He's very controlled. He's very disciplined. His stint as captain last year revealed that he's a real thinker of the game. Quiet operator off the field. But look at this. Standing start. Here's a show. Here's a go away. And Jordan, just not enough happening. That's, well, 
Well, this is Japan, ladies and gentlemen. This is how good they can be. In full control of this semi final. That's right, Japan earlier today beating China 24 12 to top the pool. They beat Sri Lanka 43 5 yesterday and the United Arab Emirates 29 7. That conversion was good, so it's 12 0 to Japan. That one not going the 10, though. I've seen a few of those from Japan today. And that's where Sakai has missed. A restart master. Here's Kim Gwong Min with the ball. Who are they going to look for? They've got to look for Jang Jong Min, number seven. There he is in the bottom of your frame. Seven tries so far in the tournament. Been penalised though, and it's so Achima again. Got his big mitts on the ball there. Yeah, size 10 mitts. Here they go now. They're trying to work a bit of space here for Lottie to carry. <laughs> Just puts the shoulder in to Lee again. He's getting some big shoulders thrown at him. Trying to straighten up his Kano. And the continuity's good, and that's over the top of Soachima. Tackle coming in from Lee Junkyu. Soachima there now. He's got to wrestle for the ball. and. Offside. They win the penalty, and here he goes, Soajima. Will he just put the hammer down? Who's going to stop the big man? Nobody's going to stop him. It's a first half hat trick in the first four minutes to Kamili Soajima. And the captain is showing the way here. And the Korean defenders are just falling off him, Jed. Well, they don't have any answer to one player. How are they going to go with the rest of them? At some point, Soajima's probably going to leave the field and let the leaders below him take over. Uh, and he's in, he's, in a, he's in rare form at the moment, isn't he? That's three. Goodness gracious me. He might be cha chasing the women's counterpart, Nahara, with her four-try debut for Japan earlier this weekend. That's right. So the conversion good, 19 points to nil. Jang's out there while well, he's leading try scorer five tries in fact not seven and he's yet to touch the ball here he is it goes over his head oh straight into the hands of Seru goodness grief the athleticism there and it just looked like the man they were going to throw up for the ball there Jang he was way off the ball they were in the wrong position and Siru just come leaping through there like a salmon out of water. Fourth try. It's a big first half to Japan. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Look at this. Oh, they've misread that terribly. Meanwhile, Siru. What a freak. Gets one hand on it and it was just stuck like glue. All right, so conversion to come and it's over and so it's 26 points to nil and it's almost well it is almost over probably well is and the big guns of China like Jiang Xiongmin and Jiang Jongmin have yet to touch the ball they have been suffocated here and they've got to get this from the restart Jong, Jiang Xiongmin does the job yeah, they're looking for something desperately from Jang. They're trying to work it to his wing. Here he is now. Oh, and he's just it's a terrible pass. And the final 10 seconds, they put himself under pressure for a defensive line out now. Well, I don't know if the Korea have looked at the scoreboard or not, but there's certainly no need to help Japan. That's the way that will work out. Just desperation play. And there's really no need for it. Here come Japan looking for one after the Huda. And who's going to stop them? There are threats across the park. Well, there's only one man that can stop them, and that's Matt Rodden. Yeah, and over goes Chihito Matsui. Matt Rodden doesn't stop them this time. He puts his arm up and says, try number five. And the sleeping giant has woken here. Saying earlier they hadn't really... Maybe they were just saving themselves a little bit. 
not expending too much energy. They're already qualified for the Olympics, but they're not coming here to lie down. They want to win the series too. They want to get back on the World Series. Five tries, and this is a blitz here. 31-0 with the kick to come. It's waved away, and Rodden calls half-time as they assemble in the shade for some water. It's 31 points to nil. That is a monster first half from Japan and Korea with a lot of thinking to do. Hard to fathom exactly where Korea are going to get started on this second half, but if they can just get the ball, then already yep. they've achieved something because so far they've had the best seat in the house. I think yours is on open mic, actually. So there's yep. lots of voices inside the Korean huddle. That's and right. I can see Jang Seongmin talking. He's He's got to do something. One of the veterans. He's played his time in Japan. And as you say, they just need to get their hands on the ball. They've not seen any ball yet. And Japan have been ruthless. Every time they've had it, they've scored. And even when they haven't had it, they've scored. As usual, some expat fans here at the stadium. The Japanese expatriates always managed to get to the ground uh, in these tournaments, whether it's Sri Lanka, Korea, Hong Kong, China. Yeah. Don't keep them. The winner of this will play Hong Kong. Mm. Mm. Started slowly against this China in the other cup semi-final, pulled away 21 points to seven. Looking at this stage to be a Japan-Hong Kong final, the first leg. They did meet last year in one of the cup finals. Japan winning that fairly easily. Well, it was 19 points to five in Sri, in Sri Lanka. Japan winning all three legs. So we're out to get underway here for the second half. Jang Jongmin needs to see the ball. They're going to have to score five times. And I'd say that's probably beyond reach. Anyway, second half underway. There's still game to come after this, both these sides. Here's Motomura now just walking through a couple of tackles. Pops it up to Takiri. Didn't have much to do in that first half. Everyone else is doing the work. So Ajima gets it wide. Here's Yoshizawa. And then with a bit of a feint there, Matsui does well. Taken down by Lee Jinkyu. So Ajima to Motomura. Over his head though. On the bounce, gets it for Jita. Offers it in one hand, teases his teammate. Just shrugging off tackles here is Yoshizawa. Release the ball immediately. Korea have finally got the ball. What can they do with it? Kim Jong-min, they go straight into contact. Release! They really risk turning it over. Where are they going to go for a kick? Lee Jai Bok sends it out wide. And look at this defense. Koreans just, that's right. Holding. Korea just not really playing good sevens this season. They're just throwing it across the line without any form or format. And Soachima pops it up to Yoshizawa. Korea, well, you had the ball, you gave it away, and you have not impressed with that set of position. So try number six for Japan. So Ajima, well, he's probably looking for his fourth try as well. Didn't have to. Yoshizawa has been instrumental as he's come on in the second half. He's had quite a few good touches already. Ryoto Kano with the extra two. And thinking back, I can't think of a semi-final that's blown out like this. No, this is quite remarkable, to be honest. Um, it's hard to know who in this competition and sort of stick with this pace. Hong Kong, if that had an easy 
semi final. They might be able to put up a fight, but okay, the amount right. of energy they use to get across and through and around Time on. China will mean that they're, uh, well, they'll be severely depleted. You see the likes of Russell Webb leave the field. They look tired. These two teams met in the semi final in Hong Kong last year, and it was a good game. 33 24, Japan winning that one. Now it's the Donut versus 38 here. This is a big score coming as they try to unleash Jang. If they find Kang Jin Gu out there. He's trying to do something, man. He's throwing Motomura a nice gimme. Banging off the left is Fujita. Good tackle, though, by Park Wan Yong. Had to be made. They are off for try number seven. And it could come anyway. It's just a matter of time. And it's, it's come out to Shihito Matsui. Absolutely raining tries, 43-0. Well, there's nothing you can do when they're operating at this kind of level. They're sweeping on all mistakes. And you know, the balls seems to be contestable. Not only are they contesting it, but they're kind of winning it almost at will. And everything's going right for Japan. They're certainly on the front foot. And they're a mile down the road. That's a shonky old kick, but it's 43 nil. It's time for more. Hong Kong will be watching this, thinking, wow, where's this Japan side come from? They looked incohesive for much of this tournament, just coasting. This is the team that will represent Japan at the Olympics. Still three minutes remaining. Oh, and it's bounce. Nothing's going their way. You'd expect at least one lucky bounce. They have another go. This is Yu Chokyu. Unfortunate there. Knock on for the Koreans. They try to build something up. They've thwarted themselves. If you're joining us from Korea, from Japan, if you're in Korea, you should be down here. If you're in Seoul, if you're Thank in you. Japan, hello. And hello to our viewers all across the world for this first leg of the Asia Rugby 7 Series 2019. Three legs. We're off to China in a couple of weeks. And then Sri Lanka after that. Those three legs will help decide the seedings. The Olympic qualifiers for the men's will be back here Fine. November 24th and 5th. Sit. Right. Korea getting a tight head there. Well done, Korea. And they scamper away. It's uh, Park Wan Young as he got the legs. Takes on Fujita, who comes at him and he pops it up off the ground. And there you go, Jang Shong Min, the big man. He's a big talent and he's chased up well there. And he's picked up the spoils. Finally, they get on the board, and the local crowd, something to cheer about. Well, he's the man on all the posters around here at the moment. And great work off the back of the scrum. Took the opportunity when it happened, and look, look who's there. Well, he's his way around the Japanese, this man. He gets bigger every year, does Jang Shongman. Be in the front row soon. He's a midfielder in the 15s game. I know how he feels. That's a goal. So, some brief respite from the Japanese onslaught. It's 43 points to five. Can they pull another one out of the bag? They'll be facing China in the third and fourth playoff. Lee Jai Bok with the restart. That's really lean. Hasn't quite gone. Pulled in the air, just a penalty. Contact in the air. Taken in the air, says Rodden. Yeah, time's up. The Huda goes. Japan stick it out. They're happy with 43, and why wouldn't they be? They've come here. 
They shot out the blocks. An early hat trick to Soachima. And it was all over, really, within the first three or four minutes. The big man picking up three meat pies, and it's 43 5. And they will go on to face Hong Kong in the cup final later today, 6 40 p.m. local time. And the Koreans, well, they'll go and face China in the third and fourth playoff at 5.56 Korean time. Let's take a look at some highlights from that second half then. There were plenty of tries. Yeah, if your name was Sui Jima, there were plenty of tries. Now, he asked for a bit more from his team. Um, he obviously didn't need it because he gave them another try after this to make a first half hat trick and Japan were quite simply too classy here he goes for number three remarkable play in the first four to five minutes wasn't it hard to believe we're watching a cup semi-final Saru just to prove that you didn't have to be the captain to do it he popped up for one as well and Again, the circus continued. Can you hear me? No. Just had no answer, career no. in the opening half, to anything the me? Japanese were playing at them. It was like, well, they yeah. came from a different planet, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, no, it's so, Jima, the pop up. Yeah. And it can be as easy as that in sevens. Yeah. The opposition does like to try and make it much more difficult, but it doesn't always go down like that. Another try out wide, this time for the youngster. And it all just about came to a close. Off the back of the scrum, in fact it did. The halfback scampers away. And the local rock star finished off the move. So we 